What's up, everyone? It's Kanan. It's Jesse. And we are the Geeky Saying Couple, back with another Ruby reaction. This time, Ruby Fairy Tales, Episode 2, The Hunter's Children. Also, happy in seven day, though it's the day it's the day we're recording this, the day that the video goes up. It won't be in seven day anymore, but uh, happy in seven day all the same. So, The Hunter's Children. Like I said, I don't know how many of the fairy tales you read but i did read through the book it's when been a while. yeah i did read through the book when it first came out and yeah it, it's been a long while so um i don't remember too much from this story but I, it, i'm sure it'll come back to me as uh we watch it. it's a little bit longer than the grim child it's a little over seven minutes but that's with like the rooster teeth intro and stuff like that um once again we are like Nine away from 500 subscribers. Thank you all so much for getting us this far. We've only got nine more to go before we hit that really big milestone. We want to hit that before uh, 2022. So please help us get there before December 31st. Got anything you want to add? All right. Well, let's get to this. Long ago. There lived a hunter in the swamps of Misrule. This was no ordinary hunter, though. He was a badass. He was a hunter of grim. So I wonder if we're looking at, like, you know, the origin of the hunters and hunters this year. I think that might be what the story is about. I can't remember. Love is design. Father. Why are you the only one who hunts them? My semblance tells me when Grim are near. Huh. I have a Handy semblance. Them. One day, all of you will use your semblances to help others too. Well, that'll be easy because mine's the best. It leads me to whatever I need most. That would be handy. That would be very useful. <laughs> but not strong. I can link arms with other people. It's easily the strongest. Wow. Cotton Grim isn't just about strength. I can use my semblance to calm people down. You don't need to be strong if you don't attract Grim in the first place. Well, I don't have to worry about that. I can hide from Grim in plain sight. Huh. Well, you can keep hiding with your Very while the rest cool of semblances. <laughs> you know, there is danger in relying too much on one's own abilities. Especially when danger surrounds us on all sides. That's kind of going back to Ty telling Yang that she re that she relies, relies too, too much. much on her semblance. Huh. And yeah, they kind of drew that back to it. Okay. I would have hoped uh, your mother taught you that. Yeah, the mother. The, I remember that the mother is gone. So. Has anyone seen Father today? He said he was going deeper into the swamps. Oh. Uh, the Grim have been showing up more. Shadow people's back. <laughs> kind of. I, Look at, yeah, oh gosh. That's creepy. News, kids. Oh, he's dead. What? What are we going to do? We must stay and protect our home, like father. It's not safe here. Or anywhere else. We have to find others and protect them too. Father was trying to learn more about the Grim. We should learn more too, so we can be better prepared to face them. Why does it matter? Father and mother risked their lives for the village. Look what happened to them. We need to fight back. Stop being foolish. You're not As they had okay. countless times before, they argued long into the night. We have to go help others. We have to think this through. In the end, we've got to do what Father wants us to do. They went their separate ways. Kind of also, like, we're kind of also going back to Volume 8 when, in Chapter 1 of Volume 8, Team Ruby, you know, disagreed. So, not exactly go gone separate ways, but they went in two teams. So, kind of like that. Like, I'm finding as we watch these, several things that have kind of been in Ruby that kind of goes back to these fairy tales in a lot of ways. 
the oldest I love her design father's mental as protector of the village but as attacks increased the people sought refuge Did she elsewhere face palm that one the oldest son palm strike for more villages but the grim had already gotten to them Ugh. when he finally found others to protect oh boy not even his semblance was enough to overcome the grim the youngest daughter set off to learn more about the grim she's being stealthy Without confronting them there was still much she didn't know And lastly, the youngest son set off to find adventure. So it's weird. In this uh, in this episode, the animation is more like stop motion almost, where the animation in The Grim Child was more, I guess, fluid animation. So that is, uh, that's very interesting. Also, this is making me wish that while we were in Mistral that we could have seen the swamps. Because, I don't know, sw swamps would have been an interesting um, setting for Team Ruby to go through. But it's also like tying in how, really in a lot of ways, Mistral was a bleak area. Because all the uh, villages, besides the one at the very beginning of Volume 4 that Ruby, Ren, Sean, and Nora went to, most of them were abandoned. And, you know, from grim and bandit attacks. So... In the novels, they've kind of pa they've kind of painted Vacuo as the most dangerous, but I don't know. Mistral seems really up there with the mo one of the more perilous places to live. I think that they put Vacuo as most dangerous because, like, well, because the environment, the and environment, all that. and the pe like, there's obviously people still living there. Yeah, they're not. They didn't really classify Mistral as that because yeah, there's nobody in those villages anymore. Yeah, so. Mi Mistral just seemed bleak. In a lot of ways. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. Because it has been a while since I've watched Volume 4. Because Volume 4 is really where we saw the bleak side of Mistral in many ways. Um, not so much 5 because, heck, we we jumped from Menagerie to Ruby and them who were in at Haven and all that. That's really the only two big locations we saw in Volume 5. Um, and then Argus in Volume 6 and the areas around there. But, yeah, Mistral just seems... Just a grim, infested, infested, yeah, infested area. Like I, kind of makes me wish we had seen more of Mistral. But having never left home, soon became lost. He's a babe and in the woods. <laughs> I love the way these Beowulfs look. Don't fart. <laughs> How's your adventure going? Huh. Reunited already. How dare you have nice feelings? <laughs> then we should help. Don't worry. We'll find a new home soon. Yeah, they, they technically brought back the shadow people for the NPCs. <laughs> Reunited. Before everything was a, a weapon and a gun. Uh oh. There's too many. Miss me? <laughs> I'm sorry for being stubborn. There were too many grim for me to fight alone. Without Aww, you all, on... I lost direction. No wonder my semblance led me right back to my family. Aww. My true home. I'm sorry for leaving too. I'm stronger with all of you at my side. If we stick together, we can overcome anything. I was wrong. Sometimes the best way to learn is to act. Yeah. I was the biggest fool of all. 
I was so selfish. I lost sight of what was most important. Father died because he was fighting Grimm alone. I think we're better off as a team. Yeah, I think this is like the where... their days, the hunter's children defended the new village they built together and welcomed anyone seeking refuge from the Grimm. And often, over the years, the siblings ventured out into the world to offer help wherever they could. Yeah. Inspiring others with their bravery, heart, wisdom, and humility. May we learn that working together, we can surely accomplish more than each of us can. Alone. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. That is where the teams yeah. started. Yeah. If you think about it, having the. Yeah, they had the teams of four. Like, the, their teams of two formed into one, but. It's you well, need if the four you, different, four different. Each team has four different things well, to create a balance between if them you, to work together. Well, I mean, if you saw, they kind of did pair off into to pairs. Well, they no, had, I did see that. That's they, what I was yeah, saying. They had the two youngest siblings, and they kind of, very briefly, the two older siblings. So yeah, I definitely think. And their semblances, like the two pairs, their semblances complemented each other and worked well together, and they worked even better as a team. Yeah, so I definitely think. Yeah, this is supposed to be the fairy tale that inspired them when they put the schools together. How they formed their teams. Yeah, the 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 that well, yeah, because they literally had to find each other and all that, um, in the woods, pretty much. So, yeah, it so, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so this now we see where Ospin, like, well, him what, and well, him and all the other. Well, yeah, but like, had, why he, why they're he has that's that's the test just throw them in the woods <laughs> yeah so um so yeah so now we pretty much know where the tradition of the four teams uh come from and probably huntsmen and huntresses all together um so very cool a uh, little fairy tale um i did not remember most of it at all because like i said it's been a while since i've read those stories but uh, probably need to start brushing up on them before we watch watch these. But it wouldn't be much of a reaction if we knew what to expect ahead of time. So, um, thankfully, no jump scare this time. I didn't <laughs> make myself look like a baby when I still don't understand how you didn't even flinch. <laughs> I just, just looked at you. <laughs> well, if you're so tough, maybe we should do a try not to get scared challenge. No. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, very well done. Once again, uh, can't wait for the third one. Once again, I don't remember what the next one is. <laughs> I really need to get on Rooster Teeth's, uh, Twitter and see, but, um, I enjoyed it. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that is our reaction to episode two of Ruby Fairy Tales, The Hunter's Children. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please, please put that, hit that put hit that subscribe button we are just nine away from 500 subscribers please click the like button you guys have no idea how much that like button helps leave a comment share it around all that good stuff as always guys this is kanan this is jesse we love you all very very much stay safe out there take care of yourselves yes i almost messed up that up and we will see you in the next one bye, bye.